Hi, this is Chris Shavako with Shavako Capital Management. Markets are currently positioned to move higher in 2011, as estimates for economic growth are being revised in a bullish manner, even by advocates of the new normal. As we have discussed in detail in our six-part video series, one of the primary objectives of the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing program is to reinflate asset prices. With QE2 set to continue into mid-year 2011, and Ben Bernanke hinting QE3 is not out of the question, risk and inflation protection assets will continue to have a tailwind in the form of printed money. In this video, we will focus on some key technical levels that have recently been exceeded in a bullish manner by the S&P 500. With correlations between asset classes remaining at high levels, we can use the S&P 500 as a relatively good proxy for all risk or inflation-friendly assets. This means if we are bullish relative to the S&P 500, we are most likely bullish relative to global stocks and commodities. If you want to examine one of the charts that follows in more detail, or if you want to copy down some of the information contained on one of the following slides, you can simply click on pause. To restart the video, click on play. While this chart looks complex, the basic concepts are not. The black and red rectangles, known as candlesticks, represent the S&P 500 index. The thin colored lines are various moving averages for the S&P 500. This chart covers the period from July 2006 through December 10, 2010. Moving averages help us monitor trends while filtering out some of the noise that comes from day-to-day -day volatility. We can see the shorter-term trends became favorable again in 2009. The longer-term trends, shown via the thinner band of colored lines, remain down. An important shift may be taking place as the S&P 500 moves above the upper band of long-term moving averages. Notice how these bands of moving averages acted as support in 2007, 2009, and again in 2010. Both bands of moving averages acted as resistance for the S&P 500 in 2008 and again in the spring of 2010. The important elements relating to the longer-term outlook for stocks are one, the S&P 500 held at logical levels of support twice in 2010, and two, the S&P 500 recently broke above the downward sloping moving averages, the same moving averages it was unable to overtake in April of 2010. If this bullish breakout can hold for a time, stocks and risk assets in general could surprise on the upside in late 2010 and in the first half of 2011. The same concepts illustrated in the previous slides are simplified in this example. This is a weekly chart with the S&P 500's 190-week moving average shown via the thin blue line. The 190-week acted as support with stocks bouncing near it in 2008. In April of 2010, the 190-week moving average clearly acted as resistance as the conviction of sellers began to outpace the conviction of buyers. If we fast forward to December of 2010, the S&P 500 is now held above the 190-week for six weeks. The 190-week may now act as support for stock prices. If the size of the video player makes it difficult to read some of the charts that follow, you can find larger and clearer versions in the December 13th Short Takes post, entitled, Risk Assets Responding to QE. Short Takes is the CCM blog. It can be accessed via a link on our homepage. The parallel trend lines shown in blue and pink in this slide have been important to buyers and sellers in recent months. From a bullish perspective, two events have occurred in late 2010 relative to these trend lines. One, the S&P 500 held near the intersection of the blue and pink lines, and two, the S&P 500 broke above the upper blue trend line. These trend lines now represent potential forms of support for stock prices. We will expand on these topics in a second video 
due to be released in late December 2010. We believe quantitative easing will continue to impact asset prices in 2011. It is important to understand how the QE process works in the real world before making allocation decisions. You can access a series of videos on this topic using the QE videos link on our homepage. At Shivaco Capital Management, we wish you nothing but success in your personal, professional, and investment endeavors. Have a great day. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational purposes and is not to be construed as a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any securities or related financial instruments, nor should any of the content be taken as investment advice. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice and Shivaco Capital Management LLC or CCM is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. CCM and its respective officers and associates or clients may have an interest in the securities or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. CCM accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. We recommend that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision.